Vibe coding has become one of the biggest uses of AI in recent times. And Vibe coding allows you to build apps and to build games quickly and easily with a couple of prompts. And if you want to get started with Vibe coding in the easiest way, you can do this in Google AI Studio in their build section. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get into AI Studio, get into the build section, and I'm going to show you how to build games and apps in a couple of prompts. So let's head into AI Studio. To get to AI Studio, you need to go to aistudio.google.com. When you're in there, go to build, and this is where you can build apps and games with a simple prompt. So I'm gonna ask this to build a Pong style game with baseball bats set in 1980s New York. So what this is doing, it's thinking about how it's gonna build a game, and it's thinking about all the different things it needs. In the background, this is building this with React, and it's building this with HTML and TypeScript. So you can see all the files been generated here. And this is an agent that goes through the design, and it'll go through and build all these files out, so in the end, we get to play the game we want. And you can make any changes down here. You can ask for new features, you can ask for AI features, and we're gonna be building an AI app after this, but I just wanna show you how easy it is to create a very simple game in here and the games you can create at the moment are kind of very simple web style games and you can also build text games something like dungeons and dragons so i'm going to play this game so this is a very simple game of pong but you can see that it's created from the prompt that i gave and if we wanted we can refine the game from here and then we can host this on google cloud Next thing I want to build is an app that actually calls Gemini and Google API. So I'm building a YouTube comment sentiment analyzer. I'm allowing the user to put the API key into the app and then that'll bring in the comments and analyze all the sentiments with Gemini and to output a positive, negative, and neutral sentiment along with some comments. So I'm going to speed this up. So this has built that and you can see the Gemini service in there. I'm not happy with the initial design of this because I can't really see anything. So what I'm gonna go over to do is I'm gonna go over back into this chat and say, I want to enter a video URL and have the app give the comments and analyze the sentiments and then the text in those gray boxes above is way too dark. Go and fix that as well. So this goes through and builds this app again. And if there's any errors generated, it figures out there's an error, the agent will go in and then fix that. And we have been using this actually at work a lot and going back and forth and refining things and you can save this and send it to each other. So just as a test, I'm gonna put in my API key. I'm gonna get a YouTube video in here and I'm gonna see if this does what it says it does. So I've got my YouTube API key, I've got my video in there. Now it's analyzing the comments and then and when it's finished analyzing those comments, what it comes out with is what I was looking for. How many comments are positive? How many comments are negative, neutral? And examples of the comments. Now, this is YouTube video is about the strongman Rain O'Neill. And you can see some of the comments in here are reflected in these example comments. In a real setting, I would go back and forth with this a lot to really refine this application. But you can see even from two prompts, we're getting out something really useful with business value and we can refine it from there. I hope you found those examples useful. I'm leveraging AI Studio work to go along with design documents to show people what I'm looking to build. It's a really quick way to do quick and easy prototypes and more importantly, quick and easy prototypes that implement generative AI with APIs in a smart way. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more Google AI videos.